section fourteen of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr diving bells the diving bell is simply a covering made of metal which is securely fastened to a waterproof suit the diving bell itself being an enclosure for the head the diver dons his suit the neck of which has a collar in the form of a screw the diving bell is placed over his head and screwed on it is connected with a rubber pipe through which air is forced by an air pump the air escaping through a valve in the belt itself if properly constructed and manipulated one may remain under water for considerable time although he is likely to be uncomfortable until he becomes used to it it was invented about seventeen fifteen drama during nineteen twelve ninety seven new plays were presented thirty-six were musical comedies thirty-six of the plays were serious or sentimental thirteen were melodramas thirteen were comedies one was a pantomime two were tragedies and fourteen were farces drugs the safest and best rule to follow is never to take any drug without the advice of a physician drugs have their place and without drugs many diseases would be incurable but drugs taken promiscuously derange the system and give but temporary relief hundreds of thousands of people have contracted chronic ailments from drug taking headache powders cough mixtures sleeping potions and practically all of the advertised remedies should be strenuously avoided notwithstanding that some of them are pure and would be efficacious if administered intelligently because one particular drug or medicine benefits a certain person should not be considered as evidence that it will aid another the habit of borrowing prescriptions is dangerous the intelligent physician writes a prescription which will benefit his patient and the same prescription would be of no benefit and might be of positive injury to another many of the testimonials given to patent medicines are genuine and are written by honest persons the effect of many of the advertised nostrums is to give immediate or transient relief they stimulate the system and may make it feel better for a short time but reaction is likely to set in and the taker of them is worse off than he was in the first place dying sayings real or traditional addison see how a christian dies or see in what a piece a christian can die anaxagoras give the boys a holiday byron i must sleep now caesar julius et tu brute charlemagne lord into thy hands i commend my spirit charles the second of england don't let poor nelly starve chesterfield give day rolls a chair cromwell my desire is to make what haste i may to be gone franklin a dying man can do nothing easy goethe more light hobbes now i am about to take my last voyage a great leap in the dark james v of scotland it came with a lass and will go with a lass jesus christ it is finished knox now it is come mahomet o oh, allah be it so henceforth among the glorious host of paradise mirabeau let me die to the sounds of delicious music napoleon i mon dieu la nation française fête d'armée napoleon the third were you at sedan nelson i thank god i have done my duty rabelais let down the curtain the farce is over scott sir walter god bless you all sydney algernon i know that my redeemer liveth i die for the good old cause socrates crito we owe a cock to esculapius talma the worst is i cannot see tasso lord into thy hands i commend my spirit vespasian a king should die standing william the third of england can this last long wolf general what do they run already then i die happy brewers readers handbook dynamite this is one of the strongest explosives and is used for blasting and even for guns although it has not as yet been successful for the firing of projectiles 
it consists of infusorial and porcelain earth mixed with coal dust and siliceous ashes saturated with about three times its weight of nitroglycerin it is of a grayish brown or reddish color damp and greasy it has an explosive power nearly eight times greater than that of gunpowder it is dangerous to make because the nitroglycerin which it contains will explode if not handled carefully end of section fourteen